Hello and welcome back to the Atomic Eatsome YouTube channel. My name is Dave. It has been a long while, uh, even longer since we did one of these. It's a toy unboxing time or collectible or action figure or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it's a very special one. Um, these are appearing some places across this great nation of ours in your Walmarts. You can find them or you can try to buy it online, even though you might get shipped a a kenny omega ultimate or supreme or a cody rhodes supreme AEW figure um lot unlikely to get the actual thing you want because for whatever reason their stocking is very weird but we are unboxing the cm punk AEW supreme figure exclusive to walmart um yeah we got lucky there was two of these at a local walmart myself and editor kyle got one and uh, we're pretty stoked to get one. I do want to try to find another one because I always got to keep one punk inbox because he's my guy. And why it's a very special episode because he just re-debuted, made his triumphant return, as they say, to the WWE uh, at the very end of Survivor Series War Games in the years 2023, if you're watching this in the future. Uh, and he's already done his damage to the company whatever he's done watch out for crazy cats in the background so here it is all kinds of stuff inside this box i've seen a one or two unboxings so far of it and i've heard that the unbox or the, the supreme boxes are easier to open nowadays with a lot less huss and fuss and muss and stuff other weird words so there you go all right let's get this thing open let's see what's inside and we'll take a look at everything you get with it because you get a lot it is a supreme collection unrivaled supreme and oh real quick on the back nice little shot from double or nothing in las vegas may 29 almost two years ago crazy how time moves time is time right all right let's get it open all right we're back and we've got accessories galore there's tons of things this microphone is in his hand when you open it so be careful it may fall out mine did but i was able to catch it so you got that. You got the AEW World Championship, as we've seen before. Nice and shiny. I might get myself a Sharpie and put the X on it like Punk had before he was unceremoniously re retired from the AEW. We'll say that. All right, as far as hands go, he's got a pair of these rock hands or Hawaiian peace hands. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I think we'll just we'll call that rock hands. He's got one already on his other hand or on the figure itself, I should say. A pair of slap hands. All of them have the X's on them and the matching tattoos on the fingertips. And a pair of fisted hands for some punching, for some clobbering. And then the other one that matched the one that's on the figure, a gripping hand for holding that pipe bomb or a steel chair, a sledgehammer, anything you, you care to, to match with your punk. Then we've got some, some skulls, some different faces. We've got the smirk. Hopefully there is a uh, matching glamour shot on my left for you to see. A little bit better with some better lighting. And we've got just Stoic Punk. He's gonna read some comics today. And Screaming Punk with his some hair hanging down his face. He's intense, he's ready to go. Finally, we got another shirt. We got the Chicago flag shirt with the X. We all know that one very well. And a different set of trunks, which gives you a different set of legs, which is kind of cool. I know exactly what to do with this. I don't have to buy another punk for this. I have a punk for this. I got one extra in my attempt to get a chase. So I don't need an extra one to buy, which is perfect. Love that. So yeah, these are just black and uh, camel, camel tights, camel shorts, looks like. All right, then the figure himself, there he is. Looking good. He's got the smart, the smile on his face. His blue strands of hair hanging down. He's got that hand up. Now, 
We've got plastic wrap underneath, which means I'm afraid there might be some bleeding going on in the figure from the fabric, which tends to happen. So let's take a look, a look here, see. The arm just came off for me, which is good. Man, so to get all that plastic off, I had to get just right down to every bit, bits and pieces of them here. Just put them back together, all like Humpty Dumpty style. And I can't, yeah, there is some little black staining, maybe a little bit, it's not too bad. I don't know if you can quite see it there. It's not too bad. I'll see it better in the glamour shots with the real bright lights as you will too. The arm back on. There he is, minus the hoodie. Looking good. Tattoo work, always good with these Supreme line ones. Trunks are basic black whites. There's a little gold stripe and piping on the, on the sides as opposed to the other ones, which were the camo of a red green and black camo trunk and yeah he's got taped up wrists arms the uh, movement is great very loose well not too loose but loose enough um i'm not seeing any, but any real bad paint work looks good hopefully you're seeing glamour shots all while i'm hiding it from you let me pull it up here we'll look at it the same way same, you guys can uh all around uh, my favorite punk yet. We got this guy here. He was my other favorite. And I'll put these alongside a couple of WWE ones that I have, which we'll be getting more of. And we'll have one more AEW punk as well. I will have two, well, at least two more to review. I've got the LJN on the way soon, which everybody's already looked at and hated. And that's fine. But uh, yeah, we got the shoulders, which is kind of like the butterfly shoulders. So they move real good. You can see, they kind of turn, turn, twist and turn, I should say, so you can make all kinds of different poses. You yell onto the rooftops, he's back. So very good figure. I am very happy, very pleased I was able to get this. If I don't get a second one, that's fine. To keep mint on, mint on card um because this is dope uh, this is a great figure i'm just glad to have it real happy he's back in the wwe hope this works out better hope it doesn't implode hope nobody gets too upset backstage and there's just too much backstage fighting and infighting and all that stuff but anyway uh we're back hopefully to keep doing these more regularly i've got a bunch of stuff to do got to clear out some space got to get these out of the way get these done get these on display all of that good stuff so stay tuned for more of these coming regularly if you enjoyed what you saw here give us a thumbs up on the video and hit subscribe uh the bell icon will be already selected for you you can be notified every single time a video goes live we don't do just unboxings we do podcasts we do convention coverage uh we do book re uh, author reviews uh interviews excuse me and book reviews all kinds of great stuff and then hopefully soon more gaming content to our twitch channel or we'll start doing gaming content on the twitch channel and here as well so you'll have that as well we'll do community nights and all kinds of cool stuff coming very very soon to you so with all that being said thanks so much for hanging out with us at atomic geekdom for all of our uh social media links you can go to atomicgeekdom.com everything is listed there all kinds of blog posts all kinds of good stuff find it all there at atomic geekdom again on all the social media listings all of them that you can find we're everywhere i guess yes <laughs> thanks again uh and be good to each other be good to yourself we'll see you all on the next one see ya